Hello guys, this is my 44th video in React series and in this video we are going to learn about context API in React. Okay, we are going to learn the concepts and also we are going to see the steps how to create this context API. I will be explaining you the theory part and also I will be giving you an example and I will tell you why we are using this context API. Okay, here I have these two diagrams and using this diagram I am just going to explain you the concepts involved in this context API. Now here I will just explain you, suppose, suppose imagine you are having one component, parent component and you are having one child component. Okay, this is parent component, the rectangle is the parent component and you are having one child component and if you want to pass some data from parent component to child component, then you can use props. Okay, props we have already seen, passing data from parent component to child component, we are using props. Okay, directly we can pass the props and in react we know data flows in only one direction only from parent to child we can pass from child to parent we can't pass the data now what if i have one parent component and here i am having multiple components multiple child components okay and the data will flow from top to bottom approach and here this component is my first component okay this one this is my first component this is my second component and this is my third component now what if I want to send the data to this component, to third component. Now first we have to send the data to this prop, first we are going to send the data here, then we will send the data to this prop and finally we will send the data to this prop, component to other component, then from other component to third component we have to pass the data. Using props we are sending the data to first component, then using props we are sending the data to second component and then finally we are sending to third component but I need data only in this component then why we have to pass the data inside A component and inside this B component directly why we can't pass the data inside this C component suppose you are having only three components okay you will pass props and you will get the data now what if you are having multiple components now what if you are having so many components and for each and you want the data inside this last component inside this last component then first you have to send the data here then here you have to send then here you have to send then here then here then here okay it's not possible it's not possible for anybody to write the lengthy code it's not possible to pass the data from a b c d e and directly i can't come to z so it's not possible at all and it give rise to prop drilling okay prop drilling we are going to see and using this props only we are going to pass this data now directly I can't pass this data to last component. From parent component to last component I can't pass this data. We have to use props and for each component we have to pass props and we have to get the data. So it's not possible. So here is the concept we are using context API. And here in this example if you see without context API first I am having this state and here I am having three props 1, 2 and 3. Now first I'm, I have to send the data to this one then again I have to send the data to this one and then again I have to send the data to this one. If I want to get the access of this data whatever I am having inside parent if I want to get access of that data to this component then first I have to send to this component then I have to send to this component and finally I have to send to this component. If it is in third layer then it will be sending like this. It's very difficult and at one point we ourselves will get confused what we are actually doing and what data we want to send. So here we are using this concept context API and now in context API what we are doing is we are just creating one data layer. Okay this will be a data layer I will just write here data layer and inside this now suppose you are having here multiple components I am having one two three four okay I am having multiple components I will just write here one here I'll write 2, here I'll write 3 and here I'll write 4. Now we are just creating one data layer and inside this all the data will be stored. Okay, all the values whatever we need, we are just going to store that one. Okay, entire data will be stored inside this data layer and each component and this entire component will be having access to this layer. Okay, data layer and each component can access the data directly from the parent. Okay, directly from the data layer, they can access the data. They don't have to send to first then they don't have to send to second then third then fourth directly each component will be having access to this data layer and from here we can pull the data and we can get access in each component now here i'll just give you a simple example here i'm having some products okay suppose here i'm having some products and here for each product i'm having one add to cart button okay here for each product i'm having add to cart button and now when i click on this add to cart button 
this entire products I'm just storing inside one data layer now when I click on this when I click on this first date I took out that data I'm storing here and second I'm just storing here and third I'm just storing here okay all the data whenever I click I'm just storing here inside this data layer okay entire products I'm storing inside data layer now this data layer access I want inside cart okay here I'm having this cart and for this I just want to get the count of this one okay whatever I'm having here whatever I'm having here whatever products I'm having here that access I want to get inside this cart component so I can directly get that one okay because each and every component will be having access to this data layer and from that data layer we can access that data and we can use that data now we should write some sort of code and we are going to get access to this data layer and we can print the number of count here okay we can print the number of products present and we can also print what products are present okay this is how context api are useful we don't have to pass the data to each component we are just creating one data layer and that data layer will be having that data layer will be giving access to each component and each component will be having access to that data layer okay this is the simple example of this one context api and here you can see i'm having this state and here also you can see first i'm having this state now inside this state i'll be having some values you can see inside this i'm having some value and here i'm having some states okay uh, imagine this is our components one two and three now each component will be having access to this state each component will be having this access to this state and and also this component every component will be having access to this data layer so this is why we are using context api it's nothing but it's like a store okay if you are a beginner and if you are not heard of redux okay don't worry we are going to learn in later tutorials but context api and redux have the similar patterns but they are completely different you can either use context api in your project or you can directly shift to redux okay either one you can use and you can make your project more readable and you can reduce plenty of codes okay it's like we are just creating one store suppose we are having one shop and inside that we are having many products now whatever products we want and every person every public is having access to that product we are giving money and we are just accessing that one we are getting that product so this is how context api are useful we are just storing all the data inside one data layer and we are getting access to that data layer now here i have this definition it is a way to pass data through the component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level we don't have to pass props at each level directly we are giving access to data layer and we are getting the data now we are having three steps now to use context api we should use these three steps first we are creating context first we have to create the data layer so we are using this create context and then you are that data layer will be having all the data now whichever component that data needs that data layer should provide the data to that component so we need one provider and whatever components they are getting okay suppose from data layer i am sending that data to component c so data component c is consuming that data so we need consumer so first we have to create context second we have to provide the data and third we have to consume the data and provider is nothing but the data layer the component which is sending the data and consumer is nothing but the component which is receiving the data okay this is how context api works we are having the simple three steps creating providing and consuming and here i have this example you can see we are having this context and inside this context every product or uh, imagine that all the products whatever data we are having we are just storing that one and this values whatever we are having inside this one that values will be having access to all the components and each component can access this you can see component c is accessing component b is accessing and also component a is accessing so first you can see this is providing okay suppose this is the parent this is providing the data and here all the data will be stored and from here if every component is consuming the data okay it's consuming the data this is how it works first we are creating then we are providing and then we are consuming okay this is the concept of context api now we are going to understand this through an example then we will be having much better idea and here in this example i'll be telling you how to pass the data through props and in next video i'll be telling you the example of context api because i don't want to confuse with lot of examples first we are going to see how to pass the data through props and next we are going to understand this context api in more better way 
I have opened VS Code Editor. Now inside this, I'm having this index.js and here I have rendered this app component. Now this app component is the parent and suppose here inside this SRC, I'm just going to create one folder. I'll give my folder name as components. And inside this folder, I'm just going to create three components. Here I'll be creating component. First, I'll create component A and for this, I'll just give here JSX. Again, I'll be creating one more component. I'll give B JSX. And finally, I'll be giving here C dot JSX. Now here inside this index.js, I have rendered this app component and inside this app.js, here I'm having this app and here I'll be writing one H1. And inside this, I'll be writing here parent. Parent component. Now here you can see I'm having this output parent component. Now here, uh, suppose here, first I'm sending the data of component A. Here first I'll be writing this RAFCE. And here I'm just going to render this one. Here I'm just creating this function. And inside this function, I'll be writing one H1. And here I'll be writing here I am component a I'll save this now I want this data inside this parent component now below this I'll just write this app and here I have to import this one once I have exported that one now here I'm going to import that one import component a I need component a not app sorry component a from I have this inside components folder and inside this I want component a I'll save this now I'll just refresh this one. Now here you can see I'm having this output. I am component A. Now suppose inside this component, I'm passing one prop. I'll just give here my name and here inside this, I'll be giving my name. Okay, this is how we are going to pass props and inside component A, I have passed this prop. Now this data I want to get inside this component A. So here I'll be uh, destructuring that one. I'll just write here my name. And here instead of this, I'm just going to write here my name. My name is, I'll just write here my name. I'll save. I'll come here. I'll just refresh once. Now you can see I got the output as my name is Khanam. Okay, whatever data I passed inside this parent component, this data I can access using props and using restructuring. I'm just getting that data. Okay, this is nothing but we are passing props. Now, what if whatever data I'm having inside parent component, I don't want inside A component. I don't want inside B component. Directly, I want inside the C component. So how we are going to do that one? Now, what we are going to do is now inside B component, I'll just write the syntax. And here, uh, let me just write here H1. H1, I'll write here I am B component. I'll save. Now this B component I have to import inside A component. Now here I'll be writing this B component. Don't get confused with this. And here I'm just going to import that one. Import B from B. I have just imported. Now if I show you the output below this I'll be getting I am B component. Now inside C also I'm just going to do the same thing. And here instead of this I'll just copy this H1. And here I'm just going to paste. I'll just write here I am C component. Now this C component I will be passing inside B component. I'll be importing it here. I'll just write here C. And here inside this I'm just going to import that file. Import. Import C from C. Now I have imported. Now if I show you the output below this I'll be getting I am C component. Okay, this is how it works. But this khanam, whatever I got using props, I want inside this one. Okay, inside C component. Now the khanam is sent inside parent component. Now this data directly I want to send to C component. First I have imported this A component inside parent component. Then I have created, then I have another component B. I have imported B component inside A component. And then finally I have C component and C component I have imported inside B component. Now this data, whatever I'm having here, I want to get access to this data inside this C component. So first I have sent from parent, I have sent to first child and here I'm getting the access. I'll just write here my name is and also component A. Component A. 
I'll come to B component. Now here also I have to pass that data. I'll just write here my name and here I'll be writing my name. And this is nothing but component B. Now finally I have C and inside this also I'm just passing this one. I'll just write here my name and here I'm going to write that one my name. And while passing props first we have to pass the props here. So here I'll be writing again text sorry here I'll just pass the props my name is equal to Khanum. I'm passing here I'll save this again I'll come here I'll just pass the prop here I'll just write here my name my name is equal to Khanum. here I'll just change the spelling my name I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see all the components are having the output as Khanum here for first I'm having for second I'm having for third I'm having but the concept here is from parent component directly I want to send the data to child component but here first I have passed to this component then again here I have passed the data to this component then again finally I got the data here so we are not using this concept we are not passing props we are going to use context API now you can see directly we have to send the data to C component but here first I have passed first I'm getting the data from the parent component then I'm just sending that props inside this A component and here I'm having this B component again from B I'm sending this prop and inside this B component I'm just getting that prop I'm printing that one and then after getting data inside B I'm going to C component I'm just passing that props and I'm getting this output it's really confusing and also it's not possible if I am having 20 to 30 components if I want the data inside last component 38th component then it's not possible for me to pass the data for every component so this is where context API is used and this was a simple example to show why we are using context API and this example whatever we I showed you and this will give rise to prop dealing at one particular point. Now in next tutorial I will be explaining you the example of context API and then you will be having much clear idea on that con context API. We are going to create context, we are going to provide the data and also we are going to consume that data. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.